Hi friends, it's Mari here for the Vicki Booten Design Team. I'm going to be creating a card project for you today using some products from the Fernwood Collection. This is one of the stencil sets from Fernwood and I absolutely love these large dots. So I definitely wanted to use a stencil on a piece of white cardstock for my card front. This is some Vicki Booten Foundations paper that I'm using here and I have that trimmed out using one of the dies from my stash for a, a 5 by 7 card front. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just using Vicky's um, Distress Ink swatch that she put up on Facebook. And I was really grateful for that because it kind of just gives, shows a visual of all of the different inks that go really nicely with the color palette from Fernwood. So what I decided to do is use a little bit of tumbled glass on my project here. And I thought that the tumbled glass would go really nice here with one of Vicky's glazes. This is that really pretty kind of mermaid blue um, uh, glaze. And so what I'm gonna do here to start off with is I'm just gonna blend a little bit of the tumbled glass onto my foundations paper here with a Honey Bee Stamps blending brush. And I'll get that all nicely blended on there. Blending onto the foundations paper is so awesome. The foundations paper is just such beautiful paper to work with, especially when you're working with mixed media. So really, really love that. It was super easy to blend the ink onto that paper. I just wanted it to be really, really super soft. And then what I wanted to do is go ahead and use that stencil with that beautiful blue glaze over top of the tumble glass. So I've just got the stencil taped into place and now I'll take my palette knife and blend some of that glaze over top and through that stencil. So really simple and easy process that gives just a really stunning result, which you'll see here just in a minute. So I'm just gonna take some of my low tack tape here and I'm going to just tape off the areas of the stencil that I don't want my paste or my glaze to get into. So I'm just gonna tape that off just to make sure that my glaze stops at the end of the stencil where the, the holes are closest to the edge there. And then I won't get any of sort of like the extra spots covered in on my paper. <clears throat> pardon me. So I'm just going to finish taping that off there and then I'll go ahead into my glaze and get that glaze down. I love this product. It is so fun to work with. It just goes, blends through the stencil like butter. It is so easy to use. It dries pretty fast too. What I did was I put this all down and then I went and had my lunch and by the time I came back it was all perfectly dry and you could use your heat tool as well to help you and I wasn't really too worried about it bleeding underneath the stencil. I mean it's a pretty thick product so you don't really have to worry about it about that but I did get it on fairly thickly which I could have tried to get it on a little bit more thinly but I guess I was just being a little bit rushed or going a little bit maybe too fast although this is sped up a little bit um, I did have a quite a bit on my palette knife so if you want to completely avoid that it might be a good idea to maybe use some pixie spray or just not use quite as much but you'll see when I do the peel reveal here there's not that much that goes through on to or underneath the stencil just a tiny little bit and a couple of little spots so look how fantastic that looks I love it I love those extra little splatter spots that are open on that stencil to create this. I love the, t the texture that gives. So I have a five by seven card base and I also have a mat for the, the card front here in some teal cardstock. And I've also used a die for my stash to cut out this paper here with kind of a scallop circle, which I think is perfect. Then I have another piece of that teal cardstock and some white to layer together here for the focal point where my little... <clears throat> Uh, sentiment and my little die cut pieces are going to go here on my card. So I'm going to just use a little bit of liquid adhesive to adhere this card front onto this mat and in that way that liquid adhesive just allows me a little bit of time to wiggle the paper around and make sure that I get it in just the right spot. Now what I'll do is take a little bit of craft foam and I will just grab that from my stash here and the, the nice thing about the craft foam is that it's not too thick. It's just kind of like a little layer of thickness on your card. I'm just gonna kind of make a little spot there where I need to cut it. Then I'll bring in my trimmer 
This is um, the new, this is the brand new Tim Holtz mini trimmer, which is fantastic. I love it. The thing is that I still have the backing paper on this craft foam, so I don't have to worry about the sticky getting on my blade. And then I'll take that release paper off and I will adhere that onto my cardstock here. I'll add a little bit of liquid adhesive then onto that craft foam and add that onto my card base. And then that'll all be nice and adhered to that card base and ready for all of the details that I'm going to add on top. So there you can just see that. I'll add that on. And again, the, the uh, liquid adhesive is just gonna give me some wiggle room here and allow me to make sure that I have that on where I want it. I'm actually just gonna take some paper mates and paper weights and put that on top of that piece for a few minutes to make sure it's adhered. And then I'll move on to the next step. So I'm gonna add a little bit of foam adhesive to the back of this cardstock circle here. I'll take the backers off of those and add that onto that really beautiful pattern paper. I love that pattern paper so much. It is gorgeous. And you're going to just see just little bits of that pattern out around the edge of that of the teal, which I think just looks so pretty. And now I've added the, the white cardstock on top, or I'm going to do that if I haven't already. And that is just going to be the perfect little spot to house the details for the rest of my card here. So just making sure that I have that all adhered together. And now you can just see, I will place that down in the bottom corner and ready for that sweet little bird and that piece of vellum foiled um, ephemera that I'm going to use as the greeting on my card, which I think is perfect. I love those vellum pieces from the fern Fernwood ephemera packs. They're so gorgeous. Always, always some of my favorite pieces. And you could make tons of cards with these ephemera packs that are part of the Fernwood collection. Um, I don't even know how many cards I could make, but it would be a ton. And so if you're primarily a card maker, a great way to make some really quick cards um, is to grab some of these die cut packs and you can just go to town and make tons of cards. So really love how that looks. And I, I wanted to also add one of the little stickers from the sticker book. This is a little flower that matches up with the flowers that are on that branch underneath that little birdie. I'm gonna pop that up on a little bit of foam adhesive to add a little bit more dimension. And then I'll add it onto that little um, area there. And I wanted to also add some of these puffy stickers from the puffy sticker sheet. And I thought it would be perfect to just take one of these little orange dots and add that to the center of that little flower to finish off. And I love how that looks, it's so, so beautiful. And I'm gonna just take my white gel pen and add a few other little um, highlights to the little bird. And that's just really simple and easy to do to add that quick little bit of detail. I'm gonna grab some of the gold glaze. I'm just gonna put that out onto my glass mat here. I'll water that down and then I'll pick that up with a brush and this is just a fine paintbrush. And I'm just going to splatter that onto the card just to add a little bit of gold texture and shine. And that's gonna finish off the card. So I really love how this turned out. Making cards with Vicky's products is so fun because she's got it all in her collections, right? She's got everything that you need and it just makes card making so much fun. I can't wait to use the stamps as well to make some cards with the beautiful Fernwood. There you go, friends. That's the finished product up close. Love the texture and the color palette is just absolutely stunning. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you were inspired to use your Vicky Booten supplies to make some fun cards. See you soon, friends. Bye-bye.